Welcome to Stoneheart everyone. This is an amazing game and it's going to be the first series on my brand new channel as well. So first of all, this game has been around for a while now. I've been uh, following it and it, uh, it really is an amazing game. Although being early access it keeps improving while keeping the original feel of the original game it was. And it just keeps getting better. It's unbelievable. Not many games manage this and it's really impressive. And this game, it really, it really gives the player the experience it's supposed to give. It's, it's an amazing game. I really advise you to check it out for yourself. It's, link's gonna be in the description. And one of the plus points of this game is that you can mod it. It's extremely supportive towards modders and um, it is a really good aspect of this game because of course the devs are working on the game itself and it might be hard to add in lots of new futures on a short period that's where the modders come in so if you're someone like me that really enjoys having a huge amount of extra stuff in game this really is amazing so I have heavily modded this game Links also in the description below, and yeah, let's let's jump into it. I'll see you in game. So here we are in this setup menu. I chose the ascendancy as a starting race because I don't like Reyes children that much. I like this style buildings, but uh, not the trading based race. Anyway, I have two mods in here that add a new bio. One of them is Sacred Grove, which basically manipulates the temperate biome into giving a an amazing landscape, which I will test in a different uh, series on this channel. So I'll play both of these biomes in uh, two different uh, series. But today we will start off with Archipelago. It's one I've been uh, very excited for since. This mod does not just add new terrain generation, it adds new blocks as well, new trees, it's it's amazing. Um, the downside of uh, this uh, biome is that we do not have boats. No, no boat mods, not in the base game. That's a bit sad, so we will be stuck on our island unless we just walk through the water, which is strangely possible. But yeah. Anyway, I'll... Uh, Get us some uh, good starter people here. So, okay, we need high mind and high body. Well, let's just roll new ones since there aren't any really exceptionally good people. Look, this guy has high body but low mind, low, low uh, spirit. This one would be a perfect soldier. Yeah, this one would be a great worker, but the rest isn't that good. Yeah, I, I need better. Okay, this might take... Okay, this is a good soldier. Good average person. We have two uh, good uh, two uh, good crafters. Three of them. Yes, this might be it, actually. So, let's see. What will we start off with? Since Well, basically, since we will be fishing most of the time, Trappist Knife and... Uh, yeah, Trappist Knife and Weaver Spindle won't be that useful. So... We could just go with the gold. Or actually... Let's start off with the food. Just in a case, um... Now we need the, to make these with crafter, with the carpenter, in order to level them up, so... Let's just do this and the gold. Um... Well, we could also get the herbalist staff already early in game. Which would be a good addition. Let's embark. Okay. This is the archipelago. And it looks amazing. But it, it really has too much long, uh, long islands. I want like a cozy pirate cove or something like that. Hmm. This looks promising, but it's a bit on the edge of the map. No, nah. That's that's all new map. 
Okay, this, this is much better. Look at this. Um, let's go with the big one. Just because it's, it's bigger. And let's start off on the beach. Um, now, the, the bright square is what of the world it will actually generate. So, you kind of want to have this extra island over here, but... That might not work. So, uh... Let's start over here, then it generates the bottom island here as well. Although starting here will generate the top one. Yeah, let's just let's just start there. So time to start our new adventure, people. I really like this custom background. It's it's extremely well made. Oh man, this this is really exciting. And it loads pretty fast as well. Another plus point about this game, it's extremely optimized. Optimized. Okay, so this is our starting area. Nice island, nice beach. No shipwrecks. That's a bummer, because they give a lot of goodies early in game. Like gold and iron and such. We have a statue over there. Look, this this map size. It's, that's a bit small for a map, you know. But still. Okay, we got another statue over here. No shipwrecks. At all. Hmm. Well, guess we'll have to dig for ores. We have mountains, so yeah. That'll, uh, that'll work out. So, uh, let's see. We could start on the beach. Or like on this place. Here. We could start anywhere. Well, guess... Since we are basically stranded, let's start on the beach. It's more realistic. Um, let's start here in this tiny square. Guess why not? Um, what should we call our town? That's an issue. Name. Hmm. Well, uh, I've got my mic. My mic cable has these issues lately. Okay, it's over. So. Uh, Name. Name for the map. Our settlement. Um, let's just call it Green Cove. Because it's like a small paradise area. That's possibly a suitable name. Okay, let's first pause it. Pause the time here. And... Uh, oh yeah, Alpha 20 added content. Let's let's take a look at that. Ooh, this is, this is nice. It's really nice. So I have played Alpha 20. The last time I played it was Alpha 18, I believe. So uh, they added a lot of things, which is really nice. Like uh, also uh, Heartling interactions, which I'm looking forward to. But for now, let's find a, a good carpenter. This dude here. He just looks like a carpenter. Look at that. It's high mind. Change jobs. You shall be our carpenter. And let's pick a herbalist as well. Um why not? You can you can be it. Herbalist. So as you can see I have a lot of extra jobs due to the mods I've installed, which I'm looking forward to as well and uh well, let's start off, shall we? First of all, we need to get on this area, so we... Let's start off with building a ladder, maybe. Instead of taking away terrain, because you cannot replace terrain. Okay, that's an issue. No trees in this area. We should have started here, because we had a tree we could cut. So we will have to dig... ...ourselves a path. Um, let's just do that over here. Like five wide. Okay, hot links. You can start digging. Oh, and we also need to uh, designate a uh, a stockpile. Student in the corner over here, like 
10 by 10 and resources ores let's do metal bars as well wealth well uh, actually anything that does not spoil for now um okay let's see wooden food it's palm to oh nice palm trees have coconuts we can harvest that's that's great um get them for wood okay that's interesting oysters give pearls ooh fancy let's let's wait a no oysters Okay, this really is an unlucky spawn point I chose. There are no oysters. There are some over here, though. So you can get pearls later on. You can build a bridge, like here. Um. Okay, so... Uh, let's start with harvesting some food for us. These palm trees. And, uh, of course, some... Uh, Herbs as well, while we're at it. And this tree is a bit too close to the edge, let's just cut him as well. So we can get some wood and a ladder. Where shall we put the ladder? Um, I think it's smarter to put it up here since we have these large trees. So uh, let's do one there and one over here. Okay. So we can uh, already start on our uh, small village over here. Um, where should we... Let's just take a look. Because this mod added a few blueprints. Beach tower. Carpet's host. Ooh, this looks nice. Let's, this looks really nice. Look at that. This is perfect. Although a bit big. Yeah, we, we uh, preferably want to build that close to uh, trees. Maybe here. This area seems suitable, like like in the corner over there. Seems like a nice area. Little pier. House. Our ship. Ooh. This looks nice. <laughs> Gnomes on the mast. Beach house and a small boat. So yeah, this is very promising. Well, let's just start off with gathering some goods here. I'll be right back to you after this small bit of grind is over. So, ooh, my goodness. Look at that. A coconut. <laughs> well, see you in a bit. So we are a little bit further. Not much, just a little. I've been making shells and storage for uh, other goods. Basically, uh, there are new types of uh, shells and such that are uh, really amazing. Okay, we need a uh, need one for potions. These these mods added so much; it's insane. So uh, let's see. Let's make a sword so we can have a footman already. There is so much we can make. Ooh, dicky torches! Hell yes! Let's get five of those, because they look amazing. Gets four log benches. Patrol, a patrol point, okay. Let's get ourselves a shield as well. It does need cloth though, which is a bit sad, but yeah. Well, for now we will uh, sleep in the outside. Oh yeah, that's true as well, we have punk beds now. Welp. It's a they don't work that way. <laughs> I'll have to research into bunk beds more later. Let's first get the uh what the carry down. Oh they do work. Okay. Kinda odd. So these will be for potions. And bandages. And the ticket torches. Let's place those stone be You're not ready yet. Let's let's speed it up a bit. Wait a second, the rest has nothing to do. Let's harvest a bit more then. 
like this stump and this one. Um, oh yeah, we have access to this upper area now as well. So let's clear out some trees to make this look much better. What type of tree is a papaya tree? Ooh, papayas! Yes! Oh yeah, this will be amazing. Our kitchen will be so stocked. So let's harvest those. Um, one of these little ones as well. That should be enough for now. Oh, and all these plants here, we need we need them for our tonics, for the herbalist. So you can harvest these as well. Okay. This is starting to look really nice here. Um, let's place some more beds. Because we can. And let's move this one as well. Yeah. No bunk beds for now. At least not yet. And we already have a Tiki Torch. Let's go ahead and place that over here. This is coming together. Less campment out here. Um, we can place the other one right here. And the fourth bed. Next ticket torch will be going over here. Yes. Trying to align them correctly. And this pile is getting really empty. Which is a good thing because if we have designated areas for everything, you will be a footman. Or I could get her to herbalist and then a cleric. Hmm. No, we need one with a both body and mind. Carpenter's level two. Let's see what can we craft extra. We can start farming. And mason's hammer and chisel. Let's also get the weaver spindle already and the carpenter's tool bench. Let's get this one up here. Ooh, that's a lot of clay. You can actually use that. Well, we have... We have 15 gold, so... We could sell our tonics. <clears throat> and... Buy some of these. It, oh my goodness, this biome has custom... Custom quests? This is really amazing. What does it have? Oh god! Coconut! <laughs> oh my goodness! They are so cute! Coco links! Oh my! Look at these! They are walking coconut drinks! They, they are so cute! Look at that! Those are the cutest thing I've ever seen! Oh my goodness, this is amazing. And it's leveling up our uh, footman as well, which is a good thing. Okay, let's see. We have our other tiki torches we can place down. 
Um. One, two, three. And we can place the other one. Here. Guess? Doing. There. Okay. Also, let's start placing down our benches. Since we have them. Herbalist leveled up. That's that's great. Um Is there anything else you can Ooh Let's maintain one of those bandage and craft one sign when you're ready for it. Carpenter Start maintaining signs. Where are they? Normal sign. Is where is it? Oh, wait a second. Place this thing down here first. It's getting really crampy in here. Not enough food and not enough worth. Morale is decent. That's nice, it gives us a view of how uh, hotlings are doing at the uh, start of the day. That's a good thing, really good thing. Um, let's move the banner all the way up here so it's out of the way of the campfire. And place down our last seat. Oh god, Mike's Mike was being uh, annoying again. Okay. What is there for you to do, Hotlinks? Not much, to be honest. There's not much actually that we can do at the moment. Did the carpenter already finish? No, he didn't. You really need to finish those. Okay. Still no sign. That's odd. Maybe I'm just unable to see it. Oh, the small car. That's, that really looks cute. Okay, let's go over it. We have the in sign, the carpenter's wall sign. Oh, here it is. Maintain one. Get that ready, together with the bed. Um, We actually don't need crates, since we have those. Which are extremely useful. Oh yeah, Orge, we need to start mining. Well, we can set up a mining camp at this big mountain here later on. So for now we could start working on hoses. Let's... Let's get our carpenter up here. First of all, we will move this. Here it is. Carpenter's host build. Oh yeah, this this looks perfect. You can build it right here. Actually, it's better if we do it here. Because I have this idea. Okay, it's hard to position this. It's just that's perfect. Yeah, we could build a ladder up here, like a staircase. So, that's a lot of stuff that we will have to uh, build. Carpenter workshop. Build. Okay, so what we need is more wood. So you can go harvest these stumps. Because they give wood. And this small tree over here as well, since it's in the way of the uh, staircase that's gonna come there. And harvest the herbs as well while you're at it. So let's see, did the carpenter receive? Yes, he did. That's a lot of stuff, actually. 
Okay. Um, let's get tools in here as well, since there is no designated space yet. Can we already upgrade the uh, farmer? This guy has high mind and high spirit. Might be better to make him a uh, potter. No, actually. It's better to make him a trapper than a shepherd, so uh, he will stay working for now. Let's see. It's decent. They'll just remain at work forever. Same with this one. Um, you could be a farmer. Yeah, why not? Let's see. Okay, that's enabled. I'm really curious about how the uh, insides will look of this building. Its design is really amazing. So that's the style basically we're going with. Pirate beach style. Oh, I should should design a sleep sleeping quarters. Well, we could have main camp up here since it's this large flat area. So we can basically harvest all of these and also move these plants since they'll be an array. Just all here for now. Get them all together, group nicely. So I'll be doing this and designing some buildings and uh, well I'll see you when I'm done so yeah see you in a bit and here we have it people our first attack by stonelings little pebbles trying to attack us so I've been a bit busy I've built this nice overhang for our fireplace I think it looks really good although this guy's stuck Apparently. What if we move this? Um, bruh. You stick mate? He's like standing in mid-air. Which is possibly a bug. So, we've also started farming here. Just small plots. I'll use these small squares here, here and there as farms. Should look really nice. Yes, he is freed. So let's close this back over there. Just hope that doesn't happen again. Okay. I've been starting digging this part away here as well. Let's build ourselves a ladder. The reason why I'm digging this away is because I will dig in here a uh, cave underneath. That people will use as like storage area, like bulk storage for ores and such. And wealth, like a pirate cove cave. Okay, people you can chop down this as well. This tree here too. And this area is now clear, so we can start building larger structures. First of all, how is this going? We need more stone. Okay. Let's remove the ladder. Build another one up here. So that guy can be freed. And mine a tunnel. But where? This is an issue. Right here. Well, we could build it in that place, like in this side here, actually. Right over there. Let's do that. Um, can't reach the ladder. Oh, I'll have to wait for a worker to uh, mine that away. So... When that is finished, I can remove the carpenter benches over there, and the carpenter will have his own place to be. As you can see, I've built this in the same style as the carpenter building. Keep it consistent. 
Um, <clears throat> well, on the coastline, let's decide on buildings on the coastline. So, coastline it will be... Uh, I'll be building like a tavern, maybe. And the watchtowers and such shall have piers as well. We can already start making those, even. Um, little pier. Let's build these. Yeah, we can, we can. Okay. Although I would prefer them to have them one below. Well, we could dig away part of this area here, to be honest. Why not do that? Like, this area, this bit, and this bit here. Whoops. Oh, I'm in the clear. Watch, so mining, yeah, that's still, okay. Oh, harvest these stones as well, because we need them. For our building place. Move the ladder. Yes, the source is almost done. Scaffolding. Guys, you really need to remove these. Scaffolding. Because it's ugly. What is the ladder up doing there? Well, there's always the command prompt we can use. So, I am only using this to destroy scaffolding parts and such that are floating in mid-air because that's a bug. You see, the second I remove those, they start removing the other scaffolding. It's like they get stuck on a on the floating ones they can't access. That book is out, so that's where the uh, destroy command is useful for. It's basically control C to open the command prompt and then just select an item and type destroy. Look at that. Perfect. It's also perfectly aligned in the middle. Spoke area. You can see the fire coming out of the top, which is a pretty nice detail. Also, we need to work on uh, sand roads as well. Later on, maybe. Path. Although it's a beach, you know. Shouldn't have that. Um, you still did not start the digging. Hmm. Oh, we need more. <gasps> there is a crate. Okay, guard, you patrol this area. You guys harvest this crate. Okay, they're heading towards it. And I need to make a well as fast as possible as well. Because these guys are getting thirsty. Where is the well? Oh, we have barrels. Nice. There's so much we can make. Book. Raft. Wait a second. We do have a way of transporting of water. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully. That would be amazing. Battle music. Yes, more cocoa links. But where's the well? Wait a second. That's probably something this Mason needs to make, right? Most likely. Okay, let's harvest some coconut trees for food. So we can have... Uh, fire trees as well. So we can have another halfling. Cannot access that area. Okay, we can access this area. This here. Trader approaches your town. To nah, that's a that's a horrible trade. 
Okay. Cancel task. You guys really need to start mining. Sick it you finished that building. It's it's all coming together, people. It's all coming together. Look at this. The way it looks nice. I really, really love this biome. You know what I wish would uh, be possible? If you could have multiple biomes on one map. Like have like a mountain area on the far side of the map, like corner maybe. And a forest area, then beaches. Would be amazing. And the food. Host to... Don't going. Oh, the people are starving. So we need more food. Okay. Farmer, do your work. Let's save it, by the way, while we're at it. Um, let's delete these old ones, since those were made at the earlier alphas. Won't work on me uh, any the uh, anymore. You save Green Cove resume. So while that's building, also let's plan out our ladder area over here. Six wide because why not? And harvest this place here. This bit. Let's speed things up. Guess they really need to start digging soon. I need stone, people! I need stone! How much does this? 31, okay. Plenty of stores left. Scaffolding is getting removed. That's a good thing. Inside, we need more furniture. It's really well designed, by the way. Inside, actually. It's nice and spacious. It, it even has this door to carpenter area. Really like this uh, blueprint. Well, since these are slabs, it doesn't get removed with the uh, building vision. Not that that matters that much. I will be adding a lot of log piles nearby, like as in storage, back here. So, you can start making one of those already. If I can find it, craft one. Ingot shelf, farmer's market. Might be an interesting idea to have. Yeah, the cook shelf is possibly not for ingredients. The small card is also good as decoration. Let's place down some of the stuff we have. Farmer's market can go next to the wall for now. I'll disable veggies in this place. Let's get the rotten foods over here. Um, anything else we need to move? No. This thing will have... That. Yeah, that's, that's that for now. Okay. This is then almost done. Looking good inside. This crate... Will hold wood. No, actually, not wood. It will hold doors and windows. This place will hold furniture. Then we can have this place hold beer. Why not? 
helicopter needs spear. This place can then hold degrading and fence stuff. That you can have our wood pile outside for wood. Can place that, let's see. No windows in the back, so we can just place that over here. Easily accessible. Have the wooden card. This place. Perfect. This looks gorgeous. Look at that. This just looks amazing. Okay, people. You can also start digging away this bit here. You did not start on a river bit though. Hmm. And it's getting night as well. Well, you'll have to sleep outside for a bit more, a bit longer. It's not that bad. It's doable, it's like camping. You're on the beach. Why sleep inside? Oh, that's another thing we need to do. Assign the bed to our carpenter. That's your bed, buddy. Enjoy. Okay, this is ready. Almost. As soon as that's cleared out, we can uh, create a nice looking staircase here. Plus, play out of stone. Because why not? Wooden staircase on a. With rot in dirt. <gasps> we have animals! Did not expect that. So we can have a trapper. That's a good thing. And you started digging this place out here as well. So let's dig a bit further. For the rest, well, I guess this is good for our first episode. We have a carpenter's place. Or a little fireplace, and we have a farm. So, <gasps> oh goodness, why are these guys bugged? Let's let's move. Let's move this here. Okay, so, well, this is good for first episode, so offline I'll uh, be digging out small bits, getting stuff organized and such, and I'll see you next episode. Hope you enjoyed this episode, goodbye, see you next time.